Okay. Now, let's listen to some stories from Teacher Amanda's student. Over to you, Teacher Amanda. Thank you, Teacher Johan. So, let's welcome our speaker number four. His, his name is Reshwan. And the title of the story is The Wind and the Sun. Over to you, Reshwan. Yeah. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Hi, friends. My name is Mr. Chunker. I am seven years old. Today, I will present the story the title is The Wind and the Sun. The Wind and the Sun argued which of them are the stronger. The wind said, I am so powerful that I can blow all the clouds out of the sky. The sun said, I am more powerful that I can heat up the heat low and this will produce many more clouds. For a long, for a long time, the sun and the wind went on arguing. Just then, he saw a boy walking the loop. He was wearing a coat. The wind started at the night. Let's see who can make that boy take off his coat. The son agreed. Now he no no okay. The wind started first. Blew as hard as he could. It blew from behind and he blew from in front of the boy. The harder he blew, more, the more tightly the boy held on to his foot to himself warm. After a while, the wind gave up. Now it was the sun's turn. She came from behind. The cloud shone on the boy. The boy felt warm. It began to get hotter and hotter. Soon the boy could not see. No. It any longer. He took off his coat, the sun at one. Thank you. Moral, we may more successful by being gentle than by using force. Thank you. Well done, Rashwan. Well done. You are so brave, Rashwan. Well done. Give him a round of applause. Thank you, Rashwan. Okay, let me welcome speaker number five. His name is Wong Yi, and the title of the story is Literate Riding Hood. Are you ready, Wong Yi? Yeah, unmute yourself and over to you. Hi, Jen. My name is Wong Yi. I am six years old. Today, I will present the story. The title is Little Red Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood lives in a wood. Her mother. One day, Little Red Riding Hood went to receive a journey. She had a nice pig in a basket. On the way, Little Red Riding Hood met a wolf. Hello, said the wolf. Where are you going? I am going to receive my grandmother. She lives in a house behind those trees. The wolf ran the granny's house and ate granny's house. He got into granny's bed. A little later, little red riding hood reached the house. He looked at the wolf. Granny, what the eyes you have? Oh, the thing. I see you with me. Granny. What the ears you have? Oh, the person to heal you with it. Granny, what the nose you have? Oh, the person to smell you with it. Granny, what the teeth you have? Oh, the person to eat you with it. Still meters away, the woodcutter was in the wood. He heard a loud noise and ran to the house. The woodcutter kicked the wolf over the head. The wolf opened his mouth wide and shouted, and Granny jumped up. The wolf ran away. 
Peter Reed riding horse never saw the wolf again. Moral, do not share personal information to strangers. Thank you very much. Well done, Wongi. Well done. You are so confident and you speak well. Well done, Wongi. Give him a round of applause. Okay. Okay, now I would like to welcome our speaker number six, Ethan. The title of the story is The Leopard and the Shepherd. Are you Hi. ready, Ethan? Okay, start. Uh, yeah. Hi, friends. My name is Ethan. I am nine years old. Today, I will present a story. The title is The Leopard and the Shepherd. The a uh, leopard was searching for food, was searching for food in a village. There, there was a big pit in the village, which was covered with dry leaves and sticks. The, lep the leopard did not see the pit and fell into it. A, a shepherd looked inside the pit and said to the other shepherds, Look, a leopard has fallen inside the pit. Just to have fun, some shepherds threw stones at the leopard. However, some kind shep shepherds threw some food inside so the leopard could stay alive. By nightfall, all the shepherds returned home. They thought the, le the leopard would die at night. At night, the leopard gathered all his strength and crawled out of the pit and went to his den. After a few days, when the leopard was strong again, he went to the he went to the village to take his revenge. The, uh, the, the leopard killed all the shepherds who thrown stones at him and ate their cattle. The other shepherds were scared and begged the leopard, please take our cattle but spare our lives. The wise leopard. The wise leopard replied, I have to I have come to harm only those shepherds who had hit me with stones. Moral, if we trouble someone who is in distress, we will suffer likewise. Thank you. Well done, Ethan. Well done. Very confident. Okay. Well done. See your friends also cheer for you. Give him a round of Yay! applause. Okay, next, I would like to invite our speaker number seven, Yudesh. Are you ready, Yudesh? Yudesh, stand up. Good evening, everyone. My name is Yudesh. I am seven years old. Today I present the story. The title is The Hungry Dragon. Deep in the mountains lived a dragon. Every hundred years he wakes up. He's very hungry. I want some breakfast, said the dragon. He went down the mountain to the village. He saw a boy. Yum, a boy for breakfast. Don't eat me, said Sia. I will give you some food. Sia took the dragon to his house. He ate three plates of chicken and rice. I'm still hungry, said the dragon. Sia gave the dragon more food. He ate five plates of noodles and ten sausages. He was still hungry. They went to the restaurant. The dragon ate 20 meatballs and 50 fish balls with 12 plates of sticky rice. After that, he ate six puddings and a cake. He was still hungry. They went to the shop. The dragon ate all the fruits and vegetables, mangoes, and cabbages, tomatoes, mushrooms, and beans. He was still a bit hungry. Sia looked in his pocket. There was one sweet. Sia gave the sweet to the dragon. dragon ate the sweet. The dragon exploded. Boom! Hooray! shouted Sia. The dragon is gone. No more boys for breakfast. The moral of my story is don't be greedy. Thank you. Well done, Yudish. Well done. Very confident. Give him a round of applause. Thank you, Yudish. And back to you, Teacher Johan. Wow, wow, wow. Four amazing stories. Round of applause to all the four students. 